Eric, the electric, why don't you go vegan? Eric, the electric, you want a vegan? Really? Oh. Eric, the electric, getting soft, bro. <laughs> getting soft, bro? Please. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and another episode of The Ride Today. Now, I did do a few of these in the past and I want to keep continuing to do them, so or I want to continue to do them as I sh should say. Uh, so you guys are going to be seeing some footage from me right now just from um, the ride that I had. Uh, usually I do it of that day, but uh, this is actually a few days ago. I wanted to take you guys through a typical climbing uh, workout training session that I do. Uh, this is one of the steepest hills in my area. I've actually talked about this in uh, another video. It's called Coronado Hills. Uh, got out, uh, I think this was Sunday morning. And um, so essentially, this is what I do, guys, repeat-wise. Uh, going up, steepest hill you can find. You can do this on your any bike that you have. And going up, going down, going up, going down. Uh, it's going to make you a better rider. I've pretty much already gone through that before. But I really want to take you guys through it and, and let you guys know um, what it really comes down to in terms of actually, you know, the specifics of climbing. You know, so when you, you go up and uh, you start really, you really want to make sure that uh, you have, I mean, all, you talk to any really good climber really that uh, rides uh, often and they'll tell you that it really comes down to technique. It comes down to form, just like lifting weights. You have to do it with finesse, and that's a word that a lot of people don't really uh, know, but it's style. You have to really, uh, I mean, know what it takes to, to, to climb, obviously, but know what goes into it. So for me, a, a really quick tip I can offer to anybody is when you're on a steep hill like this, a 16 to 17% grade hill, climb like you're dancing, essentially, like you're dancing on the pedals. Uh, you don't want to be climbing out of the saddle where you're um, using most of your upper body and you're letting that do most of the work. You want your legs to be doing the work, guys. You want your legs to be pushing out the power and not your upper body because that's just going to take away from uh, your efficiency. I've talked about that again a lot. Efficiency is crucial. You do not want to lose efficiency when you're on hills like this. Uh, you, you want to be doing as much as you can to conserve your energy. So uh, those two things really should be at the forefront of your mind when you are climbing is energy conservation and climbing with finesse. So just make sure you guys are doing that. Apart from that, uh, you guys will see in a second here the descent, you actually saw it at the very beginning of the, of the video, um, was, was pretty steep. And that's another thing that you guys really, if you're a beginner, just take it kind of easy and don't really go on to steep descents at a very fast rate. Obviously it's common sense for the most part, but take them slow. Uh, I do uh, mostly, uh, I mean, pretty steep descents, so I'm used to it. Um, and yeah, it's just something you really have to kind of build yourself up to. And it's funny because I'm actually definitely afraid of roller coasters and heights and all of that. I won't even go on a roller coaster, but I'll go down a descent, topping out at 60 miles an hour. That's just not gonna phase me, so. Um, but yeah, so another thing that I really feel like a lot of people need to know more about is, uh, is efficiency when it comes to uh, clipping in, getting the right shoes, getting the right pedals. And that's really something that I, I mean, I have four different pairs of clip-in shoes and uh, I, I'm still trying to find the right one that works for me. Uh, I use right now the Shimano um, R171s which are an amazing shoe. I had Mavic Cosmic Ultimate uh, shoes before, bright yellow shoes. Um, and um, you guys, it's really underrated. If you guys are riding road bikes right now and you're not clipped in, you need to get clipped in. I know it's just something that is going to scare a lot of people, but the sooner the better and it's just gonna make you so much more efficient. And I mean, good luck climbing it a hill like this, um, not this one, but the one I was talking about earlier without clipping shoes and hoping to be efficient there. Uh, it's just, it's not gonna happen. Um, I mean, I've climbed 16 to 17, even 18% gradient hills before in the past on my single speed on platform pedals. It was stupid of me and my back killed the next day, but um, yeah, I don't ever recommend doing that at all, but just so you guys know. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on too in this video, and this is actually a, a beautiful, beautiful ride. Uh, uh, you can actually take this route uh, if you go past the, the hill that I, I re do repeats on. You can take it up even further into the community, and that's what you guys are seeing right now where all the houses are actually at um, up in the hills. So this is kind of cool like area that I discovered recently. So absolutely beautiful when it's sunny outside. Yeah, I do live in San Diego. I'm not complaining. 
Um, anyways, so uh, another thing too that I want to kind of touch upon too is uh, carbohydrate sources for uh, cyclists, for endurance athletes, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me what my nutrition is like and how I've been structuring it. And really guys, it, it boils down to, to personal preference at the end of the day. I would say the carbohydrate sources and the protein question I get a lot. Um, shout out to the lady who's walking her dog right there. Uh, but the, the carb sources really guys, it's gonna boil down to, like I said, personal preference. Uh, when you're spending multiple hours or um, just a long time in the saddle, or even if you're running, you're doing any sort of swimming, um, you're rowing, anything guys. I feel personally that you have to find a carbohydrate source or a few different carbohydrate sources that work best with your body. With something that you can easily digest, something that's gonna give you the most energy possible, and uh, something that you enjoy the taste of. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. For me, uh, I, recently it's been bread. I love my bread. I cannot go wrong with uh, with bread, uh, bread and peanut butter, and um, yeah, I mean that's just been my thing lately. A lot of fruit, bananas. Um, I don't I don't like to do a lot of dried fruit. It's just not really a thing that I enjoy. Um, uh, potatoes, bread, uh, been huge with me, and rice, I would say, and obviously cereal, but I'm cutting down the cereal more now just because I'm not really, uh, it's getting pretty boring to me, but guys, just experiment, find out what works best for you, and then the protein myth that a lot of people seem to just be going by now, and it's, I mean, guys, this, this is going to be so rampant, and it's never going to die, but people are going to constantly assert that you need to get a gram per pound of body weight. You need to do this and this and this. The whole thing with protein, guys, is that it's all relative to the individual and their goals. It is all relative. And that's why you all, all of you watching this video need to be um, experimenting, see what works best for you, but take each little study, every you know everything you see with a grain of salt because those are all gonna be geared towards different individuals. Um, I mean, granted you have studies that are done on endurance athletes, strength athletes, etc., but what about their individual, you know, genetics, their individual blood work, their individual everything. There's so many variables that come into the equation with everything, and it's worth it to just literally just take you with a grain of salt, see what works best for you. And that's, uh, th that was the best advice I was ever given when I ever had questions with nutrition in high school or when I did, you know, just had questions in general. Uh, I just needed to find what works best for me. And, um, you know, I didn't really do a great job of experimenting back then, um, like I'm able to now, but that's just, you know, how I feel about it. So that's one huge takeaway message I hope to get to you guys. Um, now the nutrition side of it's pretty, pretty good for the most part. I just kind of wanted to cover that. Uh, the last thing I wanted to kind of touch upon is uh, Strava. If you guys are not on Strava yet, definitely uh, it's worth it to go check that out too. It's essentially like a social media, um, outlet for cyclists so a lot of cyclists will go on Strava you hit record at the beginning of your ride and uh, end it when you're done with your ride and it maps everything out for you so if you guys haven't already feel free to follow me on Strava um, I do obviously most of my my rides are on Strava so it's pre actually pretty cool I have uh, like a badge right now I'm like top I usually finish like top 100 or 200 in the world for climbing which is pretty cool for me um, or actually I used to because I don't do so much climbing anymore I'm not, I'm not doing like mad repeats anymore i'm kind of doing stuff like this you're seeing right now where i'm just enjoying the ride so um but yeah so that's pretty much what i wanted to touch upon in the video i i just feel like there's a lot of questions that have been asked lately when it comes down to riding and cycling and it's like guys it's so it's so nice outside it's beautiful it actually well depending on where you live and everything but it's it's such i mean it's an underrated activity and it's um, not used by nearly enough people, especially here in America. Uh, personally for me, for the past three weeks I've been commuting to work on my bike as opposed to driving in, saved a ton of gas, um, I mean it's ramped up my appetite, shout out to that guy right there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it, it, there is so many benefits to it guys and I mean I just can't preach enough about it, I'm trying to get more people on bikes. And um, so, if you guys, you know, if you guys like the video and every free and everything, I should say, feel free to follow me on my social media: Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. You guys know the drill. And of course, on Strava. So you guys gotta go on Strava. 
It's one of those things that we say in the shop. If you didn't record your ride on Strava, it never happened in the first place. <laughs> So I'll uh, let the video close out now, guys. And if you guys do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I uh, always like to hear feedback for everything, how you guys like the footage, etc. So thanks again for watching the video, guys. And I will see you in the next video. And guys, don't forget to ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? Oh.